Welcome students. So in our previous class, uh, we were discussing about the tense. Okay. So uh, this class also uh, will be applicable for standard for type and change. Okay. So uh, in the last class, we have discussed about the symbol present tense, and in this class, we will discuss about the another form of present tense that is. Present continuous. Present continuous tense. Okay. You know what is the uh, another word we can replace by using the word progressive. Okay. You can say present progressive tense or present continuous tense. So, uh, so before we uh, start discussing about the present continuous tense, let us recall uh, about the, about something that we are we are discussing in our last class about simple present. Okay. So in the uh, simple present, it's used to uh, to show the action which occurs regularly. Okay. The action which uh, happens in our day to day life or uh, we can say to show the habitual actions repeated actions any universal truth okay general truth or a permanent state or present state okay so all these uh, uh, times are recorded by using the simple present tense okay and the simple present tense, its uh, structure was subject plus verb, then object, subject plus half form or group form, or we can say the best form of the verb, then object. Okay, so let us discuss about the present continuous tense. So, first of all, the structure or formula. Structure of present continuous tense. Here, past subject, then helping verb or auxiliary verb, helping verb, or we can write here auxiliary verb. Plus, first form of the verb, the ing form of the verb. Okay. Verb plus ing or ing form of the verb. Of the main verb. Okay. ing form of the Main verb. Okay. So it is the structure or formula of present continuous tense. Okay. So let us write one sentence in present continuous tense. So uh, let me uh, so uh, let me uh, let me. Write the helping verbs. What are the helping verbs we will use in present continuous tense? So, all the B verbs in present tense will be used as, as the helping verbs. Okay. For example, is, am, are. Okay. So, these helping verbs or B verbs will be used in the present continuous tense to call. The present continuous sentence. Okay, so I I always takes am. Okay, so in those helping verbs, I will take am with it. Okay, so I am. What verb we will take? Any verb. Okay, play. I am play 
it is the ing form of the verb so here we will use the ing form of the base verb that is play okay so here it will be playing i am playing okay then see which one the subject c will take which one among these helping verbs it will take each c is running so run and its ing form will be running okay then they here they third person plural number is the subject here so here the i the helping verb will be at they are singing so here the base verb or the root verb is sing and we will have to add here ing so it will be singing they are singing okay so it is the formula or the structure of present continuous tense okay by which we can make sentences okay so let us know what does the present continuous tense uh, so us okay so the present continuous tense what is the use of where do we use the present continuous tense okay so the present continuous tense is used to refer to an action which is in progress okay the action which is happening now okay at the time of speaking the action we refer in the present continuous tense it it refers to the ongoing action or which is happening now or at the time of speaking the action which occurs at the time of speaking okay so it is present continuous tense so that is why we uh, also can say that present continuous tense is the real present tense okay. yes or no because in the present continuous tense the action or the verb is happening now in the present so that is why the present continuous tense is the real present tense okay then we will know the positive negative interrogative and negative interrogative forms of present continuous sentences okay okay look at the uh, sentences i have made these four columns okay in the uh, in the column one these are the uh, sentences i have uh, already been written these are in the positive or affirmative okay and we have to convert them into negative then in in this column interrogative and negative interrogative okay so let us do the first one i am making a kite so all these sentences are in present continuous tense according to the structure of continuous tense or progressive present progressive tense okay so the first one that is i am making a kite okay so here what we will have to do we will have to uh, we will have to add not just after the helping verb to find negative of this sentence okay i am making a kite so it will be i am not making a kite yes or no then in interrogative so what is uh, what we need to do to find out the interrogative sentence of this particular one so we will have to 
place the helping verb first, then the subject. It will interchange their place. The subject and the helping verb, they will interchange their place to form the interrogative of that particular sentence. Okay. So, what is the helping verb uh, used here? Am. Okay. Then, what is the subject? I. Okay. So, it will be am I making a kite? Am I making a kite? So, there should be the question mark because it is a it is an interrogative sentence. Okay, so there should be a question mark at the end of the sentence. Then negative interrogative. So what is the negative interrogative sentence of this particular one? So here the sentence as it is named negative and interrogative. Okay, so the, the sentence we will form will be both negative and interrogative. Okay, so so uh, here we can write this type of sentence negative interrogative in two ways. Okay, the first one is am I not making a kite so there should there will be also a question mark at the end then so it it became negative interrogative okay it is interrogative at the same same time it is also negative because we use not here to form it's negative. Okay. So both it is negative and interrogative. Okay. So we can write it again in uh, another way that is some form of am not. Okay. For example, uh, it is called contra contrasted form. Okay. Contracted form. C O N T contracted. So uh, we can say uh, simply sub form. Okay, am I making a kite? Okay, then the second one you are playing football. You are playing football. So its negative will be like this, like the first one. You are not playing football. Okay, then its interrogative will be also like this. So uh, there will be the helping verb past, then the subject. Okay, so are you not sorry, are you playing football? Here question mark because it is interrogative. Then the negative interrogative will be are you are you not playing are you not playing football okay so we can write this sentence in another way that is uh, making the short form short form of I am not am okay like this Aren't, aren't you playing football? Okay. Then, the, 
another one that is it is raining now so here the negative will be it is not raining now then the alternative will be is it raining now there will be the question mark then the negative interpretation negative interpretation is it not raining now okay so in the uh, other way we can write this sentence by making the short form of is not isn't okay so isn't isn't it raining now okay then he is trying to lift it he is trying to lift it so what will be the negative he is not trying to lift it okay then the interrogative will be helping verb first is he is he trying to lift it to lift it okay then the negative interrogative will be is he not is he not trying is he not trying to lift it okay so in the another way we can write isn't okay isn't he trying to lift it okay so in this way we can convert the present continuous tense uh, tense sentences into negative interrogative and negative interrogative sentences okay okay so it will be my sister is praying now in the negative sentence it will be my sister is not praying now okay and in interrogative it will be is my sister praying now then in negative interrogative it will be is my sister not praying now okay then the farmers are plowing their fields okay so in negative sentence it will be the farmers are not plowing their fields then in interrogative sentence it will be are the farmers plowing their fields okay then in negative interrogative it will be are the farmers not plowing their fields okay so all these were the different forms of the sentence like affirmative negative interrogative and negative interrogative okay so in today's class we learned about the present continuous tense or present progressive tense so uh, we uh, first knew about the structure or formula of the present continuous tense then the uses of where do we use the present continuous tense then the different types of sentences how can we make in present continuous tense okay so with this we end this class and in our next class we will know the uh, another form of present tense that is the present perfect tense okay thank you